In this tutorial, we will learn how to digitally resize Clone Scanning Mat and how to set up your scanning environment. You can download the Clone Scanning Mat directly through the app. Tap the three dots to find the menu and select Get Mat. Either print the mat directly through your phone or email it to your computer. You can also find the scanning mat at the top of Clone's website, clone.pro. Depending on the size of your object, the scanning mat may need to be digitally resized. The ratio of object to scanning mat is important because this influences the level of detail the scanner can pick up. Here we have a table of suggested scanning mat ratios. The smaller the object, the smaller the scanning mat should be. For example, a 1.5 inch object should be scanned on a 4 inch scanning mat. To change the size of the scanning mat, adjust the scale setting under the print preview window. Also remember to print the mat on non-glossy paper. Find a location with even lighting. When weather permits, outdoor lighting on a cloudy, overcast day is most ideal for scanning. Overhead indoor lighting is fine as long as the lighting casts minimal shadow. Also make sure to use the flash feature built into Clone when scanning indoors. To emphasize the importance of lighting, here is a 3D model scanned with even versus an even lighting. On the left, the model appears smooth and balanced. This was scanned indoors under even light in combination with Clone's Flash. Whereas the model on the right has texture variations. This was scanned under uneven lighting without Clone's Flash. Place your scanning mat on an even flat surface and place your object securely on the center of the mat. The mat must remain completely flat during the scanning process. Remember to tape down the edges of the mat, especially when scanning outdoors. To achieve an accurate scan, the object must not move during the scanning process. Be sure to place sticky tack or tape discreetly under any wobbly objects. Any tack or tape showing will appear in the final scan. In the next tutorial, we will demonstrate how to 3D scan using Clone.